What's up, everyone? Evan here. Today, we're back with another episode of the Lunch Table Podcast. Today, I'm being joined by my good friend, Mike. Hi, my name is Mike. I'm a fan of all things comic and movies. And joining us for, I believe, the first time is my other good friend, Logan. Wow. Uh, I'm Logan. I love movies. <laughs> well, I have a feeling none of us are going to like the movie that we're going to analyze for at least the bulk of this episode, if not the whole thing, depending on how long we can rant about it. As you can see by the still here, I think I'm sharing my screen with you too, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yes, sir. So what I think we're going to do is I'm going to pl play through the trailer once. I'm going to like kind of... Um, I'm not going to pause it during the first playthrough. And, you know, you can, like, talk over it. That's fine. But then after the first playthrough, I'm going to, like, pause it and, you know, we'll talk about, you know, different thoughts that we have on specific stuff. So right. without further ado, here we go. Again, feel free to commentate. <laughs> I've heard a lot of people Honorable. bitching about the blue portal. And how it's not like purple, like another portal. Yeah, but like, why oh, okay. is it there? It's just, I have a feeling it's, it's because be it's there. like, I think it's probably a portal from the real world. I think what we're seeing right now is mm. the first time in Minecraft. Oh, I think that's probably, probably why it's blue. It looks yeah. like the, the dude is holding the Tetherrack. Which one? <laughs> uh, uh, the kid, the little guy. Oh, yeah, yeah I know what you're talking about. He's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> Who are you? I am Steve. I can't believe they can <laughs> this dude. Oh my god. Oh, now Jason Momoa's like, got the Tesseract. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, this is gonna oh. be like the most Marvel comedy movie. Oh, man. That's gonna... Yeah. Like, what is that? <laughs> This is this is this is This costs like hundreds of millions of dollars. In IMAX it. too. Okay, and so let's first I go back to that Tesseract thing that Logan mentioned. If I can find it. Yeah, like what is that? Uh, first things first, though, I gotta say, as a Beatles fan, using that song "Magical Mystery Tour," that hurt. Oh, like, come on. What are you yeah, doing? I'm hoping we don't like, get copyrighted for that. <laughs> but yeah, look, I mean, it's literally the Tesseract. <laughs> Dude, I like yeah. when I first saw it, I was like, is that like another star or something? Or like, what's going on here? But then like, wh wh why is he holding the Tesseract? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But are they like supposed to be like the default characters, like the new ones they added in? I have no or idea. Just like um, just like the base skins that like other than Steve and Alex. Yeah, must okay. be. Like um, this is a crazy cast, right? And yeah, it is. is it just me or that's definitely a hair piece on Jason Momoa, right? One hundred and ten percent. Like, oh, that's funny. The fans on my laptop just kicked in, <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Trust, oh trust, God. trust. I'm not gonna lie though. Like, what are your guys' thoughts on like the actual like art style? All right. What well, what I'm thinking is, why do the gas look like that? Yeah, like, they I got just like noticed this. they look so funny. They have like you know like those veggie straws. Yeah. Yes. The vibe I'm getting from and the legs. They look like and veggie the face straws. Face looks so depressing too, dude. <laughs> Like, like especially the one in the top like, right. Yeah, he he looks like he just got through a divorce. <laughs> I think he realized he's in the live action Minecraft movie. Yeah, bro is. Right. <laughs> I don't, I don't the know what's going on. There. Like everything looks block, like not blocky at all. But the drum is just like a solid brick, like just yeah. a cube. It's, yeah, it's just a cube. That's like, it's kind of crazy. Hold on. I'm just checking to see what the hell's making my fan go so fast. But feel free to keep talking. <laughs> but yeah, oh, like, right. 
What do you think of Spark like the actual did a like video on this? Who what? did? Captain Sparkles. It's like did the he? first video. Yeah, dude. Wait, like, if on. you look on the right, it's the it's the video on the top. Ooh. Let's see. Dude, Captain Sparkles yeah. Minecraft. Oh, oh Grammarly's getting free oh, advertisement yeah. on the Evans Media channel. Oh, he did like a whole 10 minute thing. That's crazy. I wanna, I just wanna know what he said to. Is this like a reaction video, Logan? Do you know? No idea. I just saw it and I'm like, huh? All right, let's see. Let's see what he had to say to the new most iconic line in cinema history. Um. <laughs> I don't know what empty I was expecting for. Yeah, that was kind of underwhelming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. How many, how just like this too. trailer. Like <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not gonna lie. Like the art style, I, I don't mind it actually. Like, because yeah, I feel like bad. I feel like I also saw. Um, let me let me see if I can find it. I thought I saw somebody did like. A reanimated, um, animated Minecraft. Yeah. I feel like I saw someone do, yeah, this one. Oh. like something like this. Which I feel like something like this wouldn't translate well to the big screen. I feel like the art style that they actually have, that they went with here, kind of works. But the problem. Yeah is we have real people. Yeah. In my and like opinion. the comedy the comedy is very like early 2000s teen drama. Right. Yeah, it's so dry. It's it's so bad. It's oh. it's it's literally just like those um like those videos on TikTok where he's like, "Eh, he's right behind me, isn't he?" <laughs> literally. Literally. Yeah, you're not wrong. Here, I'm gonna play that a beautiful quick... frame again. <laughs> I'm gonna play a little clip. Just pay attention to the lighting in this scene, and I want to see if you guys notice anything. Just watch this. Who are you? I... I'm Steve. Now we can assume that both of these people, both groups, are in the same location, looking at one another. So, can someone explain yeah. to me why they're both lit from the back? Like, do you see that? Like, Jack Black's lit from the back. You can see it around his hair. And then these people have the same exact thing. Do you see that? Okay. Well, maybe... I mean, you could just have two cameras set up realistically and just cut back and forth that way. Well, no, 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 that's not the, the problem. Day. That's not that, that's not my issue. My issue is like continuity wise. They are literally standing on opposite sides of this structure, yet they're both lit from the back, which would imply that they're like yeah. two suns. Yeah, and and hey, it's not hold, I don't know. Hold. And if you go back to that frame with Jason Momoa, yeah, it looks like he's holding that tesseract looking thing, like he's gonna take a bite out of it. <laughs> <laughs> You know those like memes with like ch like the chads or whatever, like like with the like chiseled jawline and whatnot. Like it looks like he's like kind of like mogging, basically. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like every member of the live action cast is all dressed for a different movie, and they all just got like lost on set together. Right, like yeah, with like... Steve, they literally just said, "All right, Jack, here's a blue shirt." Get out there. <laughs> and we've only seen half the costume so far. Yeah. Dude, I can't <laughs> believe that they got Jack Black himself to be Steve Minecraft. Yeah. It's a little we disrespectful. We are living in a weird alternate dimension, gentlemen. <laughs> oh, man. Like, like, I just want to watch the movie because I want to see what they do with Jack Black. Oh, yeah. I'm not Trust spending me. a dime for this. Dude. I, I'm criticizing this thing like my life depends on it but i'm still gonna be there this is, yeah this, this is gonna be like I one will, of my meme movies for the year yeah this would oh, make yeah. I will for give like them one thing though what's up oh i was gonna say i will give them one thing though the reflections though in at least the like the scenery looks pretty good i'll give him that yeah, about, like, oh that like the crazy like, shader pack yeah let me try to yeah, find or like it. with the granite like it looks it looks pretty good i'll give him that 
Not like that llama. Dude. That... Yeah. <laughs> the oh, llama was wild. <laughs> like, I like mean... he's in the and then an army cra- like crashes through him. And then he finishes the chew. Oh, like, that's God. some... That's a Marvel comedy. I feel like that's some insane. of the backgrounds, like... It almost looks like some of the backgrounds have, like, AI. Yeah. Like, maybe I not be these, surprised but, like, some of some these of outdoor them... ones. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if AI wrote some of this, too, because... I can well, already predict, like, how this movie's gonna go. Film of the year. <laughs> so that's oh the God. thing. This movie has been in development since 2014. Oh um, my no God. Sh- that's, no, that's literally it. Like, obviously, it's gone through different, like, rewrites and different, like, renditions or whatever, but they've been trying to make this movie for a decade now. And I feel, I feel like, like... most of it... What? I feel like most of it's, like, prop design. That they spent doing that time. Right. Well, and the thing is, like, Minecraft, I feel like they made this movie, like, at least five years too late. Like, because Minecraft is still a really big game, for sure, but it's definitely not... Yeah. Like, I mean, I know all three of us, like, grew up on this game, basically. But now, we're literally adults now, and I can't remember the last time I played Minecraft, like, seriously. Like, it's probably, it's been at least five years, probably. Like, I've logged into it occasionally. You can even see it on my taskbar, but, like, I don't actually It's been a good solid eight years for me or something, and I, I wasn't even, like, a huge, like, fan of it. I was more like... I would go on it every once in a while, but really, like that's kind of shocking. Yeah, me personally. Yeah, I just I don't know. Dude, I, I personally never got into it as much as everybody else did. Dude, me and Logan even had a server. Still a good game though. Back in the day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Dude, oh. back in like um, back in the early days, I would love this game. Yeah, but probably that not was crazy. this movie. <laughs> well, that's the Dude, thing. I, wanna, I feel I like this, this movie's movie. geared towards like eight-year-olds younger people mm-hmm. like i mean it makes sure. sense it's minecraft at the kids game but that's the thing and i feel like they forgot the that game. like all ages play this game not just kids you know yeah like and i think they forgot too that the parents have to buy the tickets though <laughs> yeah i will say i do no, like this one shot yeah i that like it's a good but shot like, I'll what give does that. it have to do with the film what does what have to do the shot. Oh, the wolf? I have no idea, but it looks good. <laughs> yeah. It it does it look definitely good. looks good. I don't I don't I think they like... even made that the thumbnail for the trailer because they're like, listen guys, it's the only good thing we've got. <laughs> That's the thumbnail. <laughs> it's not yeah, we're not gonna do the one. magical door. Which <laughs> has the style for like a second. Meanwhile, you already know our thumbnail is gonna be this. <laughs> oh for sure. Dude, oh, that yeah. freeze frame on Jack Black is crazy. <laughs> it's not even a t-shirt. Slap it's some a sweater. text over that, and we'll be good to go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Jack uh. Black. Like, I know Steve. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell because Minecraft is like famous for its, you know, pixely blocky design. But I always pictured Steve having like a bit of stubble, but not this and he certainly doesn't have hair like that yeah and on top of it he like in the games can punch a tree with just his hands i don't think you could see jack black doing that well i think they literally showed someone doing that oh did they okay yeah oh okay so we don't actually see him punch it right so yeah i I was watching I was watching this one video on TikTok about this movie, and I was scrolling through the comments, and one of them said, "Steve is two blocks tall, not two blocks wide." And I thought that I thought that was funny. <laughs> I mean, let's compare that. Like in this shot, like he's literally like in Minecraft. I think we all know, like you're two blocks tall, but in this, yeah. bro is at least three. Three. So like, yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Even the consistency. And, like, here, 
like you could just see in like this area by the like tree like the blocks aren't consistent yeah th this is like some yeah, modded right. minecraft shader ultra realistic yeah kind of stuff like i'm sorry but trees in minecraft don't have branches like that they don't they don't do that <laughs> No, yeah, no, never yeah. mind. I was gonna say they do, but I've been playing a lot of modded stuff recently, and oh. in there they do. So, okay, yeah, but the whole thing just feels like they locked all of these actors together in just a green room, and yeah. they improved. Well, that's a good point because, like, there's literally no location, at least that we've seen in this teaser. This whole thing was probably just filmed in someone's basement with a big, like, green wall. Yeah, and well, an it overhead mic, sense, like. Yeah. And, like, the costuming on Jason Momoa. Yeah, I'll talk about that. I was just thinking that. I just realized he, for the first time, and I've been watching this on loop for a while, trying to make points that I want to bring up. I just, I'm just i just now realizing he has a t-shirt, like a graphic tee. Yeah. And so does she, kind of, but lesser. Like, this is definitely more, like... Now, we're not going to talk about how Danielle Brooks has, like, a sash over her jogging suit. <laughs> Yeah, like, is that supposed that to be is like such a such a fashion statement? It doesn't even match. It's green. No, but like, I don't look at the, look at the back of Jason Momoa's jacket. It's it's like a like a stringy cape. The back. Let's see if I can find it. Um, you can see it there, like just like yeah. I, I I see what you mean. I'm just just seeing a bit. Maybe towards the beginning yeah. when they're walking out. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, yeah, it's like a V. Yeah. It looks like he's got some on the sleeves too, sorta. Yeah, you know, it, it looks like, like, a, like it a, looks like a v uniform. Okay, that's a good point. It kind of looks like you know that rainbow cat where he's in the little pop tart. It looks oh, like that, right. like pattern <laughs> behind him. That's what it looks oh. like. That shot, I feel, uh, is not bad. That's they pretty good. Like they're just like. Loading the, like a little, yeah, the like environment's like good. Like a centimeter off the ground. The, like I said, this would have been perfect if these people were not in it. <laughs> like, and if you had CGI like, people there, good. it's like, I don't know, I don't know what they were thinking. Oh man, I mean, I it's literally Jumanji for a Fortnite movie. Oh, yeah, no, you're it's Jumanji. Not wrong. It oh. is literally Jumanji. Yeah, watch, with watch Jack that Black too. Dude, watch that be like a family, and they get sucked into the video game. I bet it's gonna be that. I bet that's gonna be the no. entire beginning of the movie. It's gonna be f those four people all don't like each other. They come from different walks of life. They go and somehow all get like punished together, and they have to do something. Then the they get bored and find the game. And they play it. Then they get stuck in the game, and they have to learn to get along uh, yep. inside the game. And then they meet Jack Black, who's probably been stuck in that game for at least a decade. And he's become, like, the guy in the game. And that's, like, yeah. how, and then they escape with Jack Black. Can you tell yeah, that um, Mike here is our resident aspiring writer? <laughs> yeah, it just, it sounds so cliche, just off of how it sounds and even with the stilted dialogue kind of like the like this guy is such a tool line which is said like right around the, that's a tool bag you know, say, like, yeah i was gonna say yeah, it's tool like bag. right around the minute mark and it's like you could have come up with something else other than that like this is yeah, how you're supposed to introduce guys, the face of the character <laughs> yep like that that's it <sighs> like you might want to give that one more take oh yeah hold on <laughs> okay Guys, such a tool bag. <laughs> oh, yeah. that hurt my soul. And it's crazy. It's crazy because I've seen all of these actors and actresses in really good roles. Like, obviously, you know, you got Jason Momoa from Game of Thrones. You have Danielle Brooks from Aquaman. The New Color Purple and Peacemaker. And then even, um, I can't, the, her name's escaping me. But she was in Wednesday, which is a good show, too. So, I was gonna say I'm not really familiar with like the child actors. Like I know, yeah. Like I don't know these two. He he looks familiar. Like I, I think, I think he's I've in the Adam Project. 
No, I take it back. He's not in the Adam Project. I think I've seen him before in something. Okay. Um, I haven't seen him ever, so I have no idea who that guy is. Let's see. Let's see if we can figure this out. I wonder if they posted Here, the I'm cast list. I'm Googling that like right now. Here, I'm pulling it up. Okay. Oh, uh, Sebastian Eugene Hansen, I think? Yeah. What Wait, is he? Did I see Steve Carell? Oh my god. Steve Carell? What? <laughs> Who is he playing? I think that's gotta be fake. <laughs> Someone probably just Jennifer Coolidge? No, yeah, no. Jennifer Coolidge is not in this movie. No. <laughs> Steve no Carell. <laughs> Jennifer Coolidge is the other dragon. That's crazy. I could see Kate McKinnon doing this, though. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Steve Carell is crazy. That's wild. Here, let's see if uh, IMDb has anything. They sometimes... Oh I mean, I know IMDb isn't 100% reliable, but... Let's see. Still yeah, like, Steve Carell isn't even listed on here, although Jennifer Coolidge still is. That would be wild. That's weird. Um, Garrett Garrison. Oh. That's uh, Jason Momoa's character. Well, that's a really original name, guys. Sebastian Eugene Hansen is Henry. Danielle Brooks is Dawn. Jack Black, obviously, is Steve. And then Emma Myers is Natalie. Like, as if that means anything. I don't know. Okay. I'm surprised they didn't bring, like, Alex into this game from Minecraft. Yeah, well, maybe... Oh, God. Is that could, who Could Jennifer you imagine Coolidge that's, is? like, the post... Could you imagine if that, like, Jennifer Coolidge is Alex and it's in, like, a post credit scene or something? No, they're gonna do an X-23 reveal once that movie hits. They're gonna save it to the last trailer. Uh, I hope I'm wrong. I don't know. No. But with this movie, it's hard to tell anything unless yeah. it's a story. <laughs> I, I I don't know what to think of this, <laughs> but I yeah. this hurts from as just a casual movie fan, like Evan said, uh, an aspiring writer and somebody that just in general like I didn't grow up with Minecraft, but I played it and it just definitely doesn't feel like the same game like it definitely doesn't feel right at least i just would have been interested to see what fan reactions would be had they kept this art style but made the characters like in line with this art style and made it like an in-universe thing so like they're not being sucked in from the real world or whatever the hell yeah or even even if they they are sucked uh, in what's that I was going to say, or even if they did a Super Mario style animation for when they get sucked in. No, I was, talking to, I was talking to Brian about that yesterday. I brought up that exact point. I was like, if they did like the Illumination Mario style thing, but like, you know, made it somewhat blocky, you know, for Minecraft. Yeah. That would have been perfect. <laughs> but oh, yeah. no. And I no. might even give the the acting and... Like, just, I might give some of it a pass, but I can't when it's in live action and you get to see the actors emote. All right, the good news is the fans completely kicked off, so I don't know what happened on the laptop, but we're back to normal, so. <laughs> That's anyway. the only good news relating to this movie. Yeah. I just... Wow. I wonder, I wish we could see the like-to-dislike ratio, because right now... Here, let's go through some of the comments, actually. That could be kind of fun. Oh, God. So, the top (laughs) comment on here is, Dear Movie Companies, if you don't like having money, you could always just send it to me. That, uh... You know what's sad, though? Is I think there's still a good chance that this movie makes, like, a lot of money. Because it's Minecraft. (laughs) Because it's, yeah. Because you know what's going to happen? Parents are going to take their, like, you know, whatever, eight-year-old kid to see this movie. The parents obviously not going to know because, you know, they don't play Minecraft. And then the parents are going to be, um, 
the parents are going to be leaving a bunch of positive reviews on it. They're going to be like, oh, this had so many positive messages for little Billy here. And, you know, he, he learned so much. He learned how to, how to work well with others from this movie. But they're not going to be like dissecting it as an actual movie. You know what I mean? If you went on top of it, Mm -hmm. like the mumbo jumbo, I just love this title. The Minecraft movie trailer looks silly. On the yeah, in the uh, the videos, the mumbo jumbo video. Scroll down, back to where you were. Yeah. (laughs) Minecraft movie looks silly. Yeah, but. Something else to bring up, too, um, is that the Borderlands movie didn't do well. And that was another recent video game movie. So it might follow the Borderlands thing. I don't think it will be yeah, as bad say. as the drop-off, but I definitely think it's not going to do well in theaters. Oh, That's 10%? On tomatoes is crazy. <laughs> oh, I didn't hey, realize it, it was that bad. It went up? What was it before? It was a 9 a couple of days ago. Ten <laughs> percent is crazy. <laughs> Holy shit! So, what I've been seeing on this video uh, about this movie on TikTok is there's a lot of like the he's right behind me, isn't he? And like the like we are Borderlands kind of kind of <laughs> kind of comedy. Yeah, uh, and it also this also has a good cast. It's got Jamie Lee Curtis, Kate Blanchett, Jack Black again, Kevin, Kevin Hart. Hart. <laughs> yeah. Like, how do you Dude, mess that up on paper? How do you mess this up? Jack Black, uh, obviously, it was in all these bad comedy movies. Wait, it's on Apple but TV. I can't get a sequel to like any of his other works. Some other Prime video? What? Oh, you can buy oh, it. That's some Prime video. I'm not buying that. No, that means you have to buy it. It's not actually Prime. Oh, darn! I was gonna say, if, it, if it's streaming on Prime Video, I, I might give it a watch. Nah, nah, nah. Hold on, I just gotta make a timestamp here because I accidentally name dropped myself. I don't even know what. Oh, we're at twenty eight minutes. Okay. No, 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 no. That's fine. (laughs) I'm just. I already showed it, so I'm gonna. I'm just gonna have to remember twenty eight minutes. I gotta do some editing. (laughs) That's fine. Um, Minecraft trailer. They look pretty wild. The Wait, hold on. Let's let's pull up his reaction. Two. There we go. Or like wide set piece that they've done so far has looked completely bonkers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jack Black might just be the. Oh, he's not even like playing the audio. That's lame. But what do we what do we predict the Minecraft numbers are going to be? The same. Like, I feel like it's going to be. 20% critical and around the same for audience. I feel like it might get more critically just because it's Minecraft as opposed to Borderlands, but it might also yeah, go I, down more because more people have played Minecraft than Borderlands. I, That's true. Critics have, don't really know what Borderlands is, so they don't really understand the movie at all. You like they're just. Have you seen Borderlands? No, at all. No, okay. no, not at all. I see. Yeah, but I haven't either. I'm, I'm so <laughs> it's very heavy on the game. Okay. So I'm so that Borderlands isn't as popular as Minecraft. Some of these critics have no idea what Borderlands is, or like what the game is even about. Right, and there's a good chance that. You know, the critics are at least going to have heard of Minecraft. You know, they might not have a yeah. lot of experience with it, but they'll at least, like, kind of know what it is. Yeah. Which is either going to yeah, help and... or hurt the movie, like you said. <laughs> yeah. I definitely think it... it's going to be around a solid 15% Critic? of critics. Okay. The audience, yeah. I feel like it's going to be the same way with, um, with Borderlands. I think it might be worse. For the audience, it might be worse. You'd be surprised, like you said, eight-year-old Billy might go on there and leave a review. You never know these days. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. Eight-year-old Billy has access to the government servers. <laughs> <laughs> What's sad is there's actually a good chance that eight-year-old Billy has probably written a review for Borderlands. Probably. Oh, he yeah. probably wrote some of the good comments. 
is there a way we can like filter by let's see uh this verified audience yeah I about i was it. hoping to like it's sort by like high i wanted to see like what the high people said good oh, for the five star e review right there oh yeah some different games. really entertaining movie with lots of action comedy and visual effects this is a perfect and refreshing option for anyone instead of staying at home let's see what uh this can i even like oh you can't go into the damn I was gonna say, I want to see <laughs> what else they have. <laughs> uh, if you are not a gamer, you will like it better. Anyone that knows Borderland, do they even call it the correct name? Did not seem to find it, find that they liked it very much because they related it too much to the actual game. I, on the other hand, thought it was good. Kept my interest and was quite active and engaging. My kids love. Yep, yep. That that's that's right. It that's yep. it right there. That's the magic it's a word. Parent. <laughs> it's a it's a parent yeah. review. That is a, that's my point. We gotta be careful with these with the Minecraft movie because <laughs> we're gonna get shit like this, like almost word for word. Just substitute Borderlands for is... Minecraft. Look, all I'm saying is we grew up with Minecraft. That was kind of our video game. Can you imagine in a couple years if they did a Fortnite video game? Or movie, yeah. Uh, movie, <laughs> you know what I meant. Yeah, like, yeah. You know how crazy know how that, would that would be? I have no idea how that we'll would work. We'll do it in live action. We'll do it with I live action see with it. The Rock. I like, could kind of see it, but why? Like, it would basically just be really like the Hunger Games, Games movies. Yeah, it would be the Hunger yeah. Games. That'd be crazy. Fortnite movie? <laughs> That'd be wild. Directed by Roblox Evans movie? Media. Dude. Dude, imagine a Roblox movie. Whoa. Oh man, that that's gonna come <laughs> next if this imagine? goes well. <laughs> no. It's like people with these like, not like giant <laughs> arms <laughs> walking around. <laughs> no, it's gonna have that weird face. You know what face I'm talking about, the chat oh, yeah. one. Yep. Oh no, that's gonna be the movie poster. It's gonna have like that dime noise saying. that you make when you fall. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, uh, so the when, when I think of Roblox movie, the only image that comes to my mind is the second Wreck It Ralph movie when they're in the internet. It reminds me of those uh the little internet goers that walk around. It reminds me of those. Like a Roblox oh, movie. No. It reminds oh, me no. of those. <laughs> Roblox movie. Let's just see what people have envisioned for our potential Roblox. Roblox, let's okay. go. Let's just see what like some fans have made. Wait, no. Did one already come out? The movie 2014. Oh, oh dude, 2020. Universal. Wait, this can't be right. <laughs> what the this isn't real. real. This, is this is not real. This is absolutely fake. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. Right. Need to start it. <laughs> yeah, oh, this yeah. is fake. <laughs> How did they get this on IMDb? <laughs> you must just be able to post anything. I can probably put, list this podcast on IMDb later. Dude, it, re it reminds me of the... This movie reminds me of Velocipaster. Just, yes, just, that is another good movie. Do they have a link to like where we can watch it? Entertaining. All I will say is that, that I saw the rating on that. And it ha that trailer... Has a higher rating than the Borderlands movie. Oh, that what is insane. Lawsuit? No, I'm talking about the Minecraft movie we just saw. A way to like. 6.9 out of 10. Huh. That's just oh the trailer. Alright, but I wanted to see, like. Here, let me type in live action. I just want to see what fans of. Have... <laughs> Literally something like that. <laughs> Oh. oh man, that's uh, wild. This hurts the soul. We're, we're yeah. getting a Minecraft movie, but I can't get a good sequel to Terminator. <laughs> oh man, I'm looking forward to the new one on Netflix, so I'll give that a watch. Someone enchant this movie with Curse of Vanishing. Uh. First thing my nine-year-old daughter said after watching this trailer was, why does Steve look like that? Good luck with this one, WB.
Okay, so even the nine-year-olds are at least being a little critical of this, which is a good sign. For or maybe it's just audience, a really not not the studio. What? I said for the audience, not the studio. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, it's a little rough. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> a little. I could see if they did Jason Momoa as Steve. Even that would make that, more sense than Jack Black. He's still got, like, the facial hair and the hair. Oh, I'm not saying... I'm not saying it it fits. I'm just saying it makes more sense than Jack Black. I guess. Sonic Hub. The Minecraft movie looks bad. Eight-minute analysis. Arlo made a video on it, too? Trailer, of course. Uh, I don't know. What do we? What do you guys think this movie is going to pull box office wise? Not enough. Ooh, but billion dollars. Wait, I wonder if we can look up the trailer or the uh, the budget. Minecraft yeah. movie. Just by the look of it, I'm guessing at least two hundred mil. Uh, Minecraft. Why? Why do we not have anything? Okay, um, I was I was closer than I thought. Hmm. I don't know if I believe that. That seems low. <laughs> like this well, feels yeah. like the, the kind of thing of they would have spent like three hundred million dollars on. <laughs> well, the trick is you have to double it for marketing, so the total is going to be three hundred mil. That's, That's the true. total with marketing. So they need. So to if we assume this is right, they need to make six hundred to, or no, sorry, three hundred to break even. Three hundred. Yeah. Yes. It's all gonna be kids. It's all gonna be Gen Alpha. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe they'll have to. You, you know, they're gonna make merch for this too. That's probably gonna help them. Dude, dude, imagine As they somebody come out with that, like a, like a grass block in a corn bucket. Oh no. Look, as somebody that works at I know for a fact that merchandise is coming right to me. <laughs> oh yeah. Don't you guys sell like Funko Pops too that like just don't sell anywhere else? No, we we sell a good amount of those actually. I mean actually to be fair, I picked up a Darth Vader Funko Pop from you guys at one point. Yeah, so. no, we actually sell good stuff there. Like, it gets a lot of rap, but there are some stuff that comes through that's like, okay, I, I get it. Yeah. But we sell some good stuff. We sell Deadpool and Wolverine stuff. We have Batman Funko Pops there, too. There's a lot of good stuff there, actually. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm sure... You're going to get the t-shirts. I don't even know how an action figure would work, but I'm sure you're going to get them. Oh, no. It's probably oh, posters. No. Yeah, same exact stuff that they've been selling at, like, Barnes & Noble with, like, the, the Minecraft pickaxes and the swords and the torches and, like, the redstone yes. torch lamps. <laughs> like, oh, I remember God. that. Oh, They're going to get back in resurgence. Yeah, but like, you know what's going to do really cool. well from this? I think oh. those scholastic book fairs are going to go really oh, well. Oh, they're going to go Minecraft. crazy. <laughs> With the Minecraft lore books, that will oh sell God. like hot cakes. Wait, Minecraft Logan. Calling it. Do you remember when we were in elementary school and you got the we got those uh, like Minecraft handy books? There was like the Redstone one, oh, the Combat I one. I used those like crazy. The Redstone one, that was like, that was like the Bible to me. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was my religion, not going to lie. <laughs> oh, they're gonna make a new one, but with Jack Black's face on it. That would be oh, crazy. No. Minecraft movie lore. Oh. God, those handy books were crazy. I remember those, dude. Oh, simpler time, simpler time. Yeah. Minecraft yes, YouTubers Lord. making books just about Minecraft. Dude, that existed. I had the one from uh, Stampy. That he made, oh. like, I don't even know. That would have been... I know Poppy Lemon Mose has one. Like, after he got out, he was doing books. I think Dan TDM might have done one, too. 
I think he uh, he I think he put out a new video about a new lab. I, I remember getting notification about that. Well, I feel like he also made like a book. Like let's see if I can find Probably. It. He he's a big child YouTuber. I th- I think he would have. Pretty damn sure. Yeah. Re- yeah, this. Six dollars. Is that oh it's e- that's the hardcover, it's even cheaper. Five bucks for the uh, regular one. Perfect. Yo. Do we do we need this to prepare for the movie? Yeah. Yes. And what's so actually far. crazy is um Dan TDM was actually at least loosely he was involved with um with the making of this movie. He uh he had he posted did a video. video on it? Yeah, you did. Um, So, I feel like some Minecraft YouTubers are going to make a cameo. Oh. That would make sense. You know that's going to happen. Let me see if I can open the transcript and find it. I don't even... Yeah, they're going to show up as a janitor or something. Transcript right there. I don't know. You said something about how he went to, like, New Zealand... I think I can find it. Yeah, here we go. For 10 years later. Now I have a little secret to share with you. I've actually been to the Minecraft movie set. I know. <laughs> I posted a while ago on Instagram. So he admits that he's gone to the set, and then throughout the whole thing, he's literally like glazing the fuck. And listen, I love Dan TDM, but you can tell he's being paid to say what he's saying. Like, let's just mm-hmm. cut to his reaction to the line. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, he needs that money. I'm Steve. Steve, what perfect cast. Wow. If you didn't think this... Perfect cast? I mean, come perfect on. Perfect cast. cast. <laughs> it's come not on. Chris Pratt. That's true. Although, Chris Pratt would have been better as Steve. Low-key. <laughs> this, this is the one video game thing I feel like Chris Pratt could have gone in. I don't like think Robert Downey Jr. Down, he was already... As- yeah, that's a good point. Ro- ooh, ooh, that, ooh. <laughs> yeah, the uh, uh, budget would suddenly jump to two fifty. Killian Murphy. Nah, imagine Killian Murphy. Yeah, Killian Murphy will go crazy. <laughs> oh man. Kill- Dude, and, instead of instead of bombing Japan, he bombs a village. Oh. <laughs> he bombs a village. That's. I want to know what the villagers are going to look like if they're in this movie. I was going to say, probably, are, probably are they going to trade emeralds? Are they going to trade emeralds for carrots that are just like in the fields? Or are they going to do what everyone else does and just steal everything and, you know, torch the village? That's a good question. Because, I mean, if they want to keep it accurate to Minecraft, I would say most players opt for raiding the village taking the villagers as like you know i can't say the word yeah but you know workers <laughs> as workers okay. as unpaid workers and then torch the village um, <laughs> well i don't know I, it just remains to be seen how they handle how people have played in the game because obviously <laughs> we've all seen some funny clips through through minecraft Oh, um, let's not lie, Mike. We've clips. we've done some of it ourselves. Don't <laughs> act innocent here. <laughs> Bro was not acting. <laughs> it's real. Being real about this. So but, we'll just yeah. see what they do. Although it, now the real question is, which of the main cast do you think is most likely to pull those shenanigans? My money is on Jason Momoa. Yeah, Jason Momoa. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Although I can see, Steve, I can see Steve doing some of that too. I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah. Okay. Steve cuts back to like a flashback. He's like, "Yeah, when my first, first night, there, I was a little flashback. desperate." <laughs> Vietnam War flashback. <laughs> nah. He's gonna deliver this how speech how he mined and crafted, and he calls this land Minecraft. Minecraft. Yep. It's a Minecraft. Uh, 
it's oh, all I'm calling it. That's that's gonna be how it goes, or something like that. <laughs> it's a honestly. Mind. I can't wait for this movie. I want to see how bad it is. <laughs> I'm low key tempted to see it in IMAX too. <laughs> but honestly, I saw that and I was like, I can't Evan. See IMAX. Evan, it is not worth IMAX. Well, I it's have Regal so Unlimited, IMAX. so it's like. <laughs> I have an AMC well, for you, theater yeah. near me. <laughs> Do you? Did you get the AMC membership? No, I have a. I think I have a fifty dollars gift card though. <laughs> Logan, that'll get you into like three movies. <laughs> uh, yes. If that. <laughs> like, I'm trying to think. What, what's the average movie ticket price down there? Uh, I think it's probably the same, like twenty. Okay. For IMAX. Yeah. I think for us, it's like, you know what I noticed? I don't, I'm still in state, but over here, it's, I get paid, I have to, I'm upcharged $7 for IMAX, whereas back home, I think it was like six. So either Regal up the prices across the board, or my new town is like a little bit more bougie. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't remember IMAX prices being like 20 bucks. Yeah, now I think, I think for a general ticket, it's like twenty something. It's up there, Stupid. but for me, it's like I have to pay seven dollars because, which I'm still not complaining about. Like for twenty five dollars a month, I can see unlimited movies and an RPX. I just saw Beetlejuice the other day. Nice. Um, I saw. I, I plan on seeing that at here. some point. It was pretty solid. I definitely plan solid. on seeing. Uh, yeah, I'm not expecting Schindler's List. It's a it's a Beetlejuice <laughs> sequel, but I'm definitely expecting a somewhat decent good time. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Well, this movie shows in my theater. I know what I'm I know what I'm looking for forward to in the weekend. What? This movie. <laughs> what? Did y'all not hear me? Yeah, I no, think I'm you kind of. Ah, oh, darn. My mic is acting up. That's so yeah. silly. Anyway, if, if this movie is showing in the theater near me, I know I know what I'm watching over the weekend. Oh, there you go. Only only the best cinema has to offer. Oh, yes. <laughs> you know what's a good movie out, in, out now? I would recommend the new Alien movie. That was really good. Yes, oh. Romulus. I've been wanting to watch that. That was so good. It's so good. It's good. I think you guys would like it. It's I, not oh, showing I saw in the it. theater, which is it's whack. It's not? Are you sure? No, it's. I'm pretty sure it's only Beetlejuice. Well, in like IMAX, in IMAX. It might okay. be showing in like oh, yeah. regular, I was gonna but Beetlejuice is showing in IMAX. Well, because what a lot of theaters do is they only play one movie at a time in IMAX. So, like, a movie will only run in IMAX for, like, a week or two. And Alien's been out since, like, August 15th. So, it's definitely not in IMAX anymore. <laughs> so, if I were you, I, I would I would still see it in standard. It's still worth watching on the big screen, and you'll save a couple dollars. So, it'll, it'll still be good. I saw it in RPX. I didn't see it in IMAX either, but it was good. Yeah, yeah, and it definitely won't detract from your experience. It's a phenomenal movie. Yeah, you know what's crazy? I I'm not gonna say what happened, but at the end of that movie, you you know what I'm talking about, like the thing that happened. Oh yes, yes. There was a kid in the row in front of me, whose dad, like you know, clearly dragged him in. And the kid was, um, I'm guessing, eight, maybe nine. That kid was petrified. Petrified. I bet. Like, that thing had to have scarred him. It was essentially, like, the effect Voldemort had on me when I was that kid's age. Ah. I couldn't. I felt so bad. But you could tell, like, the parent was the one that wanted to go see this and not the kid. Because the parent even had, like, a t-shirt on, like, he was clearly into it, but yeah. <laughs> so bad for the like. I bet you he couldn't get a babysitter or something. So he's like, "All right, you're going to see Alien." <laughs> All right. Well, the kid will remember that for the rest of their life. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. But anyway, but, that's all to yeah. say you should watch it, Logan. <laughs> yes, and I will say another thing too. Again, no spoilers, but. 
they do really good with the practical effects in this movie. It looks fantastic. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, they actually I was, like I was built sets. The final yeah. trailer. Yeah, and I'm I was so my, happy uh... that that's a new trend. Is going back to practical. Yeah. Oh yeah. When I was on my uh, my my trip down to the city, I was watching the trailer. And I'm like, this is gonna be peak. And it was. Yeah. Oh yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah. Have you I seen wait for the any of the originals? Movies? Uh, I've seen, uh, you know, like some of those dead, like, uh, I forgot the name. I think it's Dead Meat channel where it does like the death counts. I've watched, um, oh. all those videos, but I never actually watched the movies. You don't really need to, to be honest. I would say this one stands um, on its own. Yeah, because like, I, just yeah. looking at the trailer, it seems completely different. Although, like, it wouldn't hurt to watch the original okay. movie, but I think you'd be okay. Yeah, and I feel like the second Alien movie is the best of the franchise. I would at least watch that, mm. not just for the oh, movie, for own, but for your own. And whoa, okay. What? The original is I, the best. I will say though, I will say though, the original is a good movie, regardless. That is still a timeless classic. Yeah, Aliens well, was oh, wait, a bit. Wait, 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 wait. So, Evan, you're, you're sounding a little. Oh, never mind. You were sounding a little robotic. You're sounding a little. Robotic. Yes. Just a second. Oh. Yeah. You heard that too? I heard it as well. That's yeah. uh, that, that, that's it, my Wi Fi for you. Okay. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Okay. Uh, but yeah, go see Alien. <laughs> yes, Why please do. It? It's good. I'm trying to think. Ugh. What else? We should we, we we should definitely do an episode like after Penguin comes out. Um, that would be cool. And actually, oh, so wow. I was talking to Mike before you got on Logan, and he said that he was down to do that like online group watch with us. And what I was debating was even maybe even if we don't post it, like at least just recording our reaction just for documentation purposes. Like I think that could be kind of fun. Yeah, and you know what would be fun as well, and a future tease for our next, or possibly our next podcast, I think we should do a Batman villain ranking, like a tier list. I think oh, I'd be down for that. I'd be down for that. I bet. Both live action and in comics. Let me see if I can find, well, I'm not going to do it right now, but if I can at least oh, yeah. find one, that way I remember. Um, that would be perfect. I definitely think we can spark a lot of debates, a lot of interesting topics, and bring up some good oh, yeah, points about perfect. classic villains. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll just keep this tab Jumper. up. <laughs> that way I actually remember. That's a good idea. Would you be down for that, Logan? Uh, what? Uh, the Batman villain? villain tier list thing? Yeah, oh, yeah, I could do that. that. That could be fun. Maybe That's you could even yeah. do that like that same night that we're watching the Penguin. We'll do it like before the episode because the episode doesn't air until nine. Yeah, so that could be kind oh, of fun. Nine p.m. Yeah. Damn. That's late. Did you think I said nine a.m.? No. At this point, I don't know. Nine seems super late. I'm used to them dropping stuff at three a.m. So nine a.m. is great. <laughs> I used to stay up. I remember um, for the Mandalorian season two finale, I was up at 3 a.m. I was there for Luke Skywalker. That's great. But anyway. Uh, did you guys, either of you, have any final thoughts on anything before I end it off here? I don't think so. I, got, I think I got all I need to get out. I think I'm in the same boat. You? What about you, Mike? You might have. You might. You might have left. But I think he probably got everything out. <laughs> yeah. So, with that all being said, thank you all for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. It really helps us out. Road to 1,000 subs on YouTube. Going strong. Oh, yeah. Sub <laughs> to this guy right here. This man. Right now we're this sitting at. I think we're at, what, 
um, 681, I think. So we had it. We rode to 1K. Rode to 1K. Oh yeah. <laughs> but um, in all seriousness, it really does help out the channel. So I appreciate you all watching. Um, stay tuned for the next one and feature videos.